Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going to be going back to CodeSignal to work on the SQL database coding exercises. If you're jumping into this in the middle of the series and want to start from the beginning, I'll put a link down below to the playlist where you can get started from the start. Alright, so we're going to go to the arcade. Then we're going to, go to the database section. And we left off on this section and specifically on number 13. So you're managing a large website that uses a special algorithm for user identification. In particular, it generates a unique attribute for each person based only on their first and last names and other additional metadata. After analyzing the server logs today, you found out that the website security has been breached and the data of some of your users might have been compromised. The user's info is stored in the table users with the following structure, first name, second name, uh, and then attribute, which is just a unique string for the user seems that only the users whose those attributes are generated by the old version of your special algorithm were affected. Such attributes have the following format accurate to letter cases. So you've got a percent, um, some stuff in the middle, and then another percent. It's your duty now to warn the users that these attributes have possible risks. Given the user table comp, compose the resulting table consisting only of the rows that contain affected users' info. The results should be sorted by the attribute in ascending order. So here's the table users, and they want it filtered to these things for this uh, specific case. So it didn't explain this very well, what that format was. And if you look at the cases, so this seems to be one. But what I guess what you need is you need some number of characters before this first percentile. So it's some number of characters before the percent, and then a percent, and then first underscore last name and then another percent. So you can see here, and then you may have some characters after uh, that last percent. All right, so now that we know what we're looking for, so in this table, we're just looking for first name, second name, and attribute for those that are filtered. So we just go select first name, second name, and attribute. You could also do select star. And we only have one table, so it's from users. And for the where condition, we have attribute. We're going to use link. In this case, we're going to use binary um, because you can see in some of these cases it has to be case sensitive. Um, so actually, let's just take out the binary and I'll show you why the cases, it's easier to find them if we run it. All right, so you can see this is the output we had, and this is the expected output. Uh, so in this case, Josephine was not supposed to be in the expected output, and you can see uh, the case of her name is slightly different than uh, it is in the first and second name. So that's why we need the binary to make sure it, it compares the case correctly. And then the other thing that we needed was we needed at least one character before the first percent. So that's what this does here, because uh, if you remember correctly, the, the underscore does one character of anything, whereas the percent does one zero or one or more characters. So if we have to have at least one, we need an underscore. And then a percent, let's say we can have as many as we want. And then we need to use this escape character because we're looking specifically for the percent sign, which is a keyword. Um, so you do escape, which is this uh, forward slash, and then the uh, keyword that you want to use. And then we're going to concatenate that with first name, uh, underscore, second name, and then we're going to do, actually you should use a, uh, this because we're looking specifically for this, this underscore, but it seems like it doesn't matter in this case. You still get the right uh, output. And then you've got underscore uh, percent to make sure we get the percent. And then this last percent just says we can have zero or more characters after that last percent. Uh, so actually, that's going to screw up when I run it. 
of that extra code. You can see now we got it correct. So that's how you do it. I hope you guys were able to follow along, and I hope you guys uh, join for the next few videos. Thank you very much.